Hey guys, welcome back to another video. All right, so today I'm taking a look at the Gerber Barbell Wallet. Let's check it out. All right, so two things before we get started. The first thing is, I have another giveaway. That's right, so stay tuned to the end of this video to find out how you can win this Gerber bar bill in silver. And the second thing is, I wanna thank Guy McCauley, I think that's how you pronounce your name, McCauley, Michael-y? I think it's Macaulay. But I want to thank Guy for recommending the Gerber barbell to me in the comments section. And I really do appreciate the recommendations. Most likely I'll look it up, see it, and want to review it. So keep them coming. All right, so the Gerber barbell came to me in this pretty plain cardboard sleeve. Gerber logo on the front and the back, nothing too special. Um, yep, All right, so let's take it out of here and Okay, there it is. So it looks like it comes with a limited lifetime warranty, according to this. And inside of the elastic strap, it looks like we have a see-through demo card here. That's pretty cool. All right, so now let's take a close-up look at the Gerber Bar Bill. So the Gerber Bar Bill comes in four different color combinations. We have the gray that I have right here. There's a silver version. Yes, the version I have to give away. Then there's also a black variant and a gold variant. Now, for some reason, the gray, gold, and the silver come in at 1995 and the black one is only like 16 bucks not sure why so as you can tell there's really not much to it it's an extremely minimalist wallet so the gray frame here is made of stainless steel and then attached to the frame here we have this elastic band with the gerber logo on it now as i turn it to the back side you can see it's a pretty cool skeletonized frame and right there down the center says gerber and of course it wouldn't be a proper modern wallet if it didn't have a bottle opener and then on the very bottom of the frame right here, we have the security bumper. So when you're sticking cards in there, they won't all just push through. They'll get stopped right here. That's pretty much it for the quick feature. So let's talk dimensions. So the Gerber barbell has a height of 3.5 inches and a width of 2.25 inches. And it says on Amazon that it weighs 1.6 ounces. So let's test that out. All right, let's plop it on there. No cards in it. And it comes in at 1.1 ounces. So they're a little off on the Amazon website and 1.1 ounces in grams, 32 grams. So yes, guys, this is extremely lightweight. Even though this frame is made of stainless steel, I mean, it feels like it weighs nothing at all. All right, so they claim it can hold a max of seven cards. So right here I have four raised number demo cards and three flat demo cards. So I'm just gonna put them all together and insert them into the wallet all at once. So I'm just going to stretch open the elastic and Push them straight down, okay. All right, there we go. So with the four raised number demo cards and the four flat cards, you can see it's right there, right at the edge of that safety bumper here. And if I give you a nice side profile, you can see that's almost perfect. So that makes me curious, since there's four raised number cards in there, what about if I put all flat cards in there? So right here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven flat cards and let's do the same thing stretch open the elastic a little bit and slide them right in there i mean yeah look at this so there's seven flat cards and we're right there at the edge again but regardless of the type of cards that you have in this wallet it looks like seven is the max but what about if i only want to carry say i don't know four cards so what happens so the elastic tightens up and yeah that's pretty good and let's give it a nice little shake test to see if anything comes out, yeah, these cards are going nowhere even with four. So what about one card? Let me just test that real quick. So one card, oh, it's still holding pretty securely. And another shake test? I mean, check that out. It moved slightly from the edge, but Overall, I think if you carry one card, it's gonna be pretty safe in this wallet. All right, so now let's test the functionality of this Gerber bar bill. I put the seven cards back in there. Yes, the four raised number and three flat. And I guess what you wanna do, since there's no thumb notch on the bottom to press it up, it's like there's a little notch here on the top. So I guess the easiest way to get the cards out is just pull up slightly on the full stack and then fan through it. I'll take out this middle card right here. 
put them all back together and push them back down. It's actually pretty simple. And then let's get that card back in there. So pull them out the same way, navigate to where I want it, stick it in, push it down. Yeah, guys, the functionality is there. And it's all due to this little cutout notch right here that allows you to grab the full stack of cards and fan them out as so. All right, so what about cash? So I have eight bills here, so obviously we can't leave them folded in half, so let's fold it into quarters. So the only way to get the bills here is to lift up on this elastic strap, push them in, and there you go. So right now I have eight bills folded into quarters, the max seven credit cards in there. It's still pretty darn thin. So a lot of you have been asking me to measure this when it's fully loaded. So that's why I bought this bad boy right here. So let's take a measurement on this fully loaded. Well, at least fully loaded as I can get it. Eight bills folded into quarters, seven credit cards, and it comes out to be 0.6 inches. And 0.6 inches in millimeters is 16.51 millimeters. All right, so now let's talk about this for a second. Yes, you can fold your bills into quarters and stick them under this strap here, but what would make this better? What would make it better is give us a little pocket clip or a money clip right here in the back. Just attach it to this metal frame and have it straight down here. So then instead of having to remove the money every time you need a credit card out, you can have your nice little handy dandy pocket clip or money clip in the back, stick it under there, and then you'd have your bills just hanging out in the back, just like this. But realistically, other than that, I can't really see much else wrong with this wallet. I see what they're going for with this, and I think they've accomplished with being an extremely minimalist wallet while still being very functional. But obviously, this isn't gonna be for everybody. First, there is no RFID protection. So if RFID protection is important to you, you might wanna think about getting a skid plate for the top card here. But for those of you who think RFID protection is a scam, you got nothing to worry about. And also it's a very non-threatening minimalist wallet. I mean, there's really nothing to it but this frame and elastic band. And according to the listing on Amazon, it's TSA compliant. Or if you're just looking to slim down your pockets and you like Gerber and have to have everything Gerber made, you might wanna check out the bar bill. All right guys, it's giveaway time. So right here I have the Gerber bar bill in silver and it's still sealed, but I'm just gonna lift this up slightly and take it out just to show you guys what it looks like. And here it is out of the box, the Gerber bar bill in silver. And check out the front here. So we have the orange Gerber logo as opposed to my dark silver logo. And you can see the differences in the color right there. They're actually not that different. The gray frame here looks a little more anodized as opposed to the silver one here. Looks like it's a raw silver, check that out. But yeah guys, let me put this back in the box and let you guys know how you can win this. So first off, you must be subscribed to this channel. Number two, you have to like this video. And number three, you have to comment on this video. And this is the hard part. I have no idea where to set the comment minimum. So I'm just gonna say 150 comments. So after 150 comments, I'm gonna pick the winner and announce it on my community tab right here on YouTube. And I'll also announce it on my Instagram page and I'll have all the links below in my description box. So let's go over this again. You must be subscribed to this channel, like this video, comment on this video. After 150 comments, I'm giving this bad boy away. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of the Gerber Bar Bill wallet? Now, I will leave links below in my description box where I picked it up from on Amazon. I got it for $19.95 plus tax. And let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the Gerber Bar Bill. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go!